In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix the Xbox app not working on your Windows computer. So whether the application's not opening or it's just not working as it should, then there's a few different ways we can fix this. The first thing you want to do is head over to your start menu and search for settings and then click on the settings window. Select apps from the left hand side and then click on installed apps. Using the search box, type in the word Xbox and next to this green Xbox app, you need to click on the three horizontal dots and select advanced options. Then if you scroll down down to the reset section we first need to click on the repair button like so and then just give that a few seconds to complete and once you've done that you then need to hit the reset button as well and confirm by pressing reset so once you've done these two things you can try launching up the xbox app to see if that's now solved it otherwise what you'll need to do is head back over to the start menu and search for services and then click on the services window from here you want to scroll all the way down to the bottom until you see these xbox services down here so what you want to do is click on each of these four Xbox services down here. So I'm going to start with the Xbox accessory management service and you need to change the startup type to automatic and then press apply. And then you need to start the server status by pressing this start button and then we can press OK. Now you'll need to do the same with these other three Xbox services down here as well. So I'm going to go through each of these now. Make sure the startup type is set to automatic, press apply and then make sure the service status is set to started and then press OK. So once you've done that to all four of these Xbox services you can see now that they're all running you can then close out of this window and then you're going to head over to the start menu and search for Microsoft Store from the Microsoft Store you need to click on downloads from the left hand panel and then select check for updates now if any updates are found in the Xbox app then you'll need to go ahead and install these now and then once you've done that you can close out of this window and then once again check to see if the Xbox app is working now another solution for you if it's still not working is to head back over to the start menu search for PowerShell and then right click on Windows PowerShell and run this as administrator. In this window here, we need to type in a couple of commands. Now I've got these saved in my notepad and I'll leave these in the video description. So I'm just going to select this first command here and press copy. And then I'm going to paste that into my PowerShell window and press enter. Then you need to head back over to the notepad and we're then going to paste in this second command. So I'm just going to paste that in here and press enter. And that's going to automatically bring up the Microsoft Store. So it will take you to this gaming services page like you see on the screen here. And all you need to do is click on the get button like so and that's going to go ahead and install that to your computer so once that's finished installing you'll then need to restart your computer it's very important that you restart your computer at this point in time and once it's restarted you should be able to head over to the xbox app and that should have now solved any issues you are having so it's as simple as that guys if you did find this video helpful then let me know in the comments below and i'll see you in the next one